So you want to get over fast? A great way to make the player feel like they're moving faster is with the use of speed lines, also known as action or anime lines. In this video, we will take a look at how you can easily achieve this effect using a simple shader and also making it adapt to the player's velocity. Source code for this project is down in the description and if you find this helpful, please subscribe. So let's dive in. So the shader we will be using today is the Speedline shader for Godot 4 by Accelerate. And someone said uh, how in Godot 3.6, so I assume they don't know how to use it. And it's not very clear because there's no description. And when you check the video, you can't really see what node it is on, but it's the color rect node. So what we will want to do is go to the shader code and hit copy. And that will copy the code. Now we can head over to Godot and we can make this a uh, user interface scene. Hit the plus button or control A and search for color and add a color rect. We will set the anchor preset full rect and that will make it fill the entire screen. Next, we want to go into the material and make a new shader material. Open it up and new shader and make a new shader. Call this speed lines and open up the shader. Open up the shader, press Ctrl A and Ctrl V to paste the shader. And now we will have the shader. Now you can go to the shader parameters. And firstly, we can set the line color. I like to set it to something white. The line count, we can change that later. And on the noise, we want to make a new noise texture 2D. Open up the noise texture 2D. And on the noise tab, make a new fast noise light. Open up the fast noise light and it doesn't really matter what you choose as long as it's something that's, that works well. So I'm gonna choose the value one and set the value to 0.2. This will make it more visible. Uh, you can try out different ones if you find one that you like better. You can also set it to like 0.1. I'm gonna stick with 0.2. I'm also gonna change the fractal to none to make it more, uh, as you can see, it's more sharp when you set it to none, but you can try out different ones. Actually, FPM looks pretty good. I'm gonna stick with that for now. Close that down and we can also make changes to the line density. And this this is that part here. Then there's the line fall off. This makes them fall off in the opacity, it looks like. I like to set the line density to one and the line fall off to one making the line mask to zero and making the mask edge to one and then making the animation speed to 20 and line count to two. Now this looks pretty good and you can adjust it to something you like. Density is how many lines will show right and the animation speed. I'm gonna drag this out so you can see the whole name. That's how fast it animates. But I find with a lower value that it's looking like it's on a low frame rate. So for the best result, I think you gotta go with the highest one. You could either do the opacity of it, the alpha, or you can change the density for to match your velocity. And the way to do that is on your player script. I'm gonna put this on my player script. So I'm gonna copy the color rect and paste it onto the and paste it onto the player. So now we have it right here, so we can access it through the player script. Open up the player script and head down to the physics process one. And on the physics process, we want to check if the velocity length is less than 10. This is personal, depending on uh, your speed for your players, so you can check what works well for you. And then we want to set the speed lines uh, node color rect. So we'll drag that into the script and we want to set its material and shader parameter and line density to one. And this is the line density. So that well, let's go into the 2D view so we can see that's the line density. You can also choose to change the opacity of this if you want to, but I'm going to do show it with the line density. Go into the script and then you can just check again. So if it's less than eight, then you do the same speed lines and get this and make it less. So that could be 0 0.8. And then you just keep doing this down to zero for as many as you want. There probably is a smarter way of doing this, but this works well enough. So you can just do this 
and then do less than 6 and make it 0.6 and yes keep doing this till you go down to zero and that will make it uh, work well with the density and your velocity length might be different depending on your values that you have set for your player script so you will have to try it out what works best for you thanks for watching if you want to support my work check out my ko-fi in the description and i'll see you in the next one